Welcome to Blackthorn Prod. Now, during the very first days of my game creation journey, there was one thing that always bugged me. How do I import my 3D animations from Maya to Unity? And that is the question I will answer today. We will bring in just a few minutes this simple 3D model, his rig and straightforward idle animation from Autodesk Maya straight into the Unity game engine. With that said, let's begin. Now I'm using Maya LT 2016 and Unity 2017, but what I'm about to show will work for any Maya and Unity version you may be using. So as you can see, I have a very simple looking 3D model in Maya. Before rigging your character, select all geometry pieces that make up that character, freeze all their transforms, center their pivots, and lastly go over to Edit, Delete by Type, History. You can now start rigging your 3D character. Once that's done, let me give you a quick look at my outliner. As you can see, I've placed all my geometry under a group called Character Model and my joints and IK handles under a character rig group. With your project nicely organized, you can have fun creating your various animations. For the purpose of this tutorial, I'll make a simple idle animation. We can now get down to the meat of the tutorial. How do we import this model and its animation into Unity? Step 1. We need to export the model and its rig. To do so, select all the geometry that makes up your character and every single joint and IK handle that makes up its rig. Note that it's much easier selecting these various pieces via the outliner. Then go over to File, Export Selection. Now there are a bunch of options that you can tweak right here. All you need to worry about is this animation section. Make sure the animation box is unchecked since we are currently exporting the character's rig and model, not his animation. Then choose a location to export your character. I'll want to export mine inside my Unity project. Lastly, choose a file type to export has. I'll choose FBX, but you can use OBJ. If you apparently can't export has an FBX or OBJ, just go over to Windows, Settings and Preferences, Plugin Manager and tick the loaded and auto load OBJ export boxes as well as the FBX Maya boxes. With the character model and rig inside of Unity, select it and then drag and drop it inside of your Unity scene. You can now apply materials to your character. If you aren't satisfied with your character's size and wish to make him smaller or bigger, do so with this scale factor import setting. I'll make my character a tad bigger and then hit apply. I'll have to type in the exact same scale factor value for all my animations related to this character or risk running into some strange problems. To keep the project nice and organized, I'll make a folder for models and drag and drop my character's model inside of this folder. Heading back to Maya, we will now import an animation. Once again, I'll select all the geometry, joints and IK handles inside of my outliner but on top of that, I'll select all the keyframes that make up my idle animation. To select keyframes, simply hold down the shift key and right mouse button, and then drag your mouse cursor over all the keyframes. Let's then export our selection. Make sure we are exporting has an FBX file, and this time, check the animation box since we are indeed exporting an animation. You can also check Bake Animation and state the start keyframe and end keyframe of your animation. In Unity, I will make a folder called Animations and drag and drop this idle animation inside of that folder. I'll make sure the scale factor is the same as the scale factor of my model and uncheck Import Materials since our model already has some applied. I'll then hit apply. 
I'll now go over to the Animation tab of my Animations Import Settings, rename it to Idle Animation, make sure we have the correct start and end keyframes, and for this particular animation, I'll check Loop Time, meaning I want the animation to repeat itself over and over again. Alright, we have almost finished. It's now time to create an animator controller that I'll name Character AC. This is the component that lets us organize the animations of a certain game object, make transitions between those animations and more. To see your animator controller, go over to Window Animator Controller. All we want to do, however, is drag the idle animation inside of this animator controller window. Since it's the only animation we have, Unity will set it directly at our character's default state. Grabbing my character in the Unity hierarchy, I'll make sure he has an animator component attached to him. If he doesn't, just hit add component and add an animator component. And obviously, I'll drag and drop my newly made animator inside of the empty controller slot. We will now hit play and notice that our character is playing his idle animation. Awesome! And that concludes today's video. I really hope this tutorial helped and has enabled you to get your own 3D model animating inside of Unity. If you have a problem or a question, of course ask away in the comment section down below and I will try helping you the fastest possible. Alright, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons if you enjoyed the video. Stay tuned, cheers!